Oh, I try to keep telling you, get on the AI train. It's bigger, it's faster, it's stronger. And it just made me an easy $15,000. Again, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it in this video. Let me first show you the uh, fake screenshots really quick. You can see the circled sale for just over $15,000 in commissions. Just above that is another $23,000 sale, but that was for a site not through AI related content. Although if I say it was from AI content, maybe no one will ever know. Just kidding, let's get down to business. So how did I do it? Well, I pushed some buttons, obviously. First off, I started with an age domain. And there's two different platforms that I use to find age domains, and that's Register Compass and Spamzilla. Although generally I use Register Compass a majority of the time. Let's jump in there real quick. All right, so I'm logged in Register Compass here, and typically what I do is I look for a specific trust flow, a specific domain authority, and then a specific auction type, for example, public. Trust flow just depends on how, how much you're looking for as far as like filters go here, but I'll usually do something over like seven or so, so anything eight trust flow or better, and that just gives us the best chance of finding the best sites. Now I'll do a domain authority, anything, sometimes over 19, sometimes 24, sometimes 29. A lot of time for me, it's 29 because I'm looking for more powerful sites. But for some of you, it may be a smaller number, just depending on what you're looking for. And then once I have my filters, I go ahead and hit search. Now this is one of my most basic filters. There's all types of different filters you can put in there, but that is one of my, 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 one of my most basic ones, I should say. Now, typically what I'll do is I'll either organize by something like domain authority or something else. Now, domain authority allows you to see the supposedly most powerful sites down to the least powerful sites. Now, what I do is I start looking at all the metrics, right? I want to see a site that is in a niche that I want to attack, or you can use this to give you niche ideas. For example, this one right here sticks out to me, climatecrisis.net. It has a domain authority of 62, page authority of 63. This looks like a really powerful domain. So this is one that I could maybe look into. And hey, maybe there's some stuff out there that I can promote about climate crisis. Maybe I can promote, you know, solar panels on it or maybe, you know, some type of energy saving device. There's probably tons of stuff we can promote with this site. Now, let's go to Ahrefs and let's throw it into, into Ahrefs. And I just want to see what type of power it has. So as I throw it up, we see it has about 4,000 referring domains. That's a lot. That's a lot of power there. The organic traffic history doesn't show much, but that doesn't always mean everything. And I go into more detail on this in other videos. The main thing I'm going to look at is the backlinks. I want to make sure it has strong backlinks that are relevant to climate. Okay, because the site has climate in the domain name. So a lot of the, the links should be talking about climate. And we see right away, right away, we see links from Wikipedia, right? Environmental activism, um, Wikipedia, Google Green blog, Nobel Peace Prize for climate change, New York Times, right? Uh, advocate investor for Gore. So that's probably like a, you know, a political angle for the climate. Uh, let the Guardian speak, let the um, data speak for itself. Here's science of climate change. So right away, we're seeing very relevant links for climate from very powerful sites. And as I scroll down here, I'm looking at the domain authority, very, very high domain authority links. That's exactly what I want. And as I read this metadata over here, I'm seeing a lot of stuff about climate. Okay? And that's exactly what we want. So from here, we would obviously go do some research on the, on the climate change niche or climate keywords. And this could be an extremely powerful site that already has that pre-built power that we could use to attack anything within the climate niche or something closely related. So now comes all the common questions. But how do I set up the new site? What do I need to do? The answer is you do the same thing you would do when you go and build any other site. Yeah, there are little tricks you can use with 301 redirects to the homepage and inner pages and all that. But look, I have a lot of these age domain sites where I do none of that stuff and they work awesome. People think that because there was a previous site that you have to do something special. That's not true. You just build the new site. Links go to a domain, not to a website. So when you get that domain at auction, that domain was pre-powered. Now, of course, many times you will have links going to inner pages on that domain as well. And if you want to keep the link juice for those inner pages, you have to redirect them. And again, you can redirect them to the home page or inner pages. That's outside the scope of this video. But of course, all the links going to the home page are powering the root domain. So the next step for most of you is just to build a website like you normally would if it was a brand new domain. Now, from here, I like to build a conversion page. And this is where I'm going to filter a lot of my traffic to. And this is usually one of the only pages on my AI sites that are human written. Now, this is going to be set up differently for different niches and different approaches. 
But a lot of the times I'll use like a top three or a top five or a top 10 or something along those lines where I have like my top five company recommendations or my top 10 product recommendations. It all just depends on what you're promoting and how you are approaching it. Also remember, you may have to have multiple conversion pages if you're promoting multiple types of different products. So maybe if I get that climate crisis site, I do stuff on climate, I do stuff on energy, and I do stuff on a third little topic that are like sub niches of, of climate. Well, that means I'm likely gonna have three different conversion pages. My climate stuff will all go to a conversion page for climate products. My energy stuff would all go to energy an energy page or conversion page on energy products. And then same thing for any other topic I create. And you can just do that through categories on the blog. So all my climate stuff would go in a climate category. All of my energy stuff would go in an energy category and so on and so on. So now you need to find your tool for pumping out AI content. I finally stopped being lazy and I created a link for the AI tool in the description below. It's the one that I use for the $15,000 in commissions I'm talking about today and the last video I did $58,000 commissions with. Once you sign up, you wanna use the bulk generator and you can do 50 titles at a time. This tool will just take a simple title and create some pretty awesome articles out of it. Awesome tool. And look, you can do as many articles as you want. Yes, you can do 50 at a time, but after you submit those 50, you can just go back and submit another 50. The, the cap is just 50 at a time. So now let's talk about one of the most important parts, which is where do you get your titles? Now, the easiest and laziest way to do this is with ChatGPT. Let me show you an example. All right, so I have ChatGPT loaded up here, and you can see I have written out my command already. You don't have to use this command. You can make it longer, shorter. You can modify it however you want, but I'm showing you a simple example of how you can get article titles very easily. So what I do is I say I'm doing keyword research in the camping niche. I want you to give me a list of 20 long tail keywords. I don't want any keywords on the same exact topic please be as diverse as possible. Now, when I hit enter, what's gonna happen is it's gonna give me back 20 long tail keywords. Now, when I get this list, note that I only have 20 here, but I could have asked for 100. I could have asked for 500. I can make this as long as I want, right? So I asked for 20 just for time's sake, but you can get tons of long tail keywords by doing this. Now, I've definitely used this way a good bit when I'm feeling lazy but I usually only do this after my kind of initial attack. And the initial attack is more time consuming, but it's a lot more effective. So let me describe what I do, and then I'm gonna show you an example. So let's pretend that I'm looking to start a site in the arts and crafts niche. I did my research in Register Compass. I found a great pre-powered domain, an age domain in arts and crafts, and I'm ready to attack. So what I usually do is start by doing a Google search for a long tail term that's in the, it's kind of like in the sub niche of the arts and crafts category. And then I try to find an arts and crafts specific site that has lower domain authority that I can reverse engineer. Now, the beauty behind this method is that if a lower authority site ranks for specific keywords, that means that we can also likely rank for the same keywords pretty easily with an age domain. So let me show you an example of what I mean. All right, so I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna do a longer tail search for something that's like a sub niche of the arts and crafts category. And one I picked was DIY soap making kit, which is a do it yourself soap making kit. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Now what I'm looking for is I'm trying to find like an arts and crafts specific site that has lower domain authority. Now, these guys right here, I don't know what type of site this is and they have 6,000 referring domains. That's too many. I don't want to analyze them. These next guys, 1,405, I could analyze them. They have 1,400 there. That's still pretty strong. I want to see if there's a lower one on here. We got two Amazons. Let's see what else we got. We got uh, Bo, Bo and Nicole. That's got 320 and zero. I could do that one right there for sure. Wholesale supplies, uh, better B. Let's see, Essenix, whatever it is. Uh, all right, so let's go with this one right here. It was this, let's scroll up. Let's go with this one right here, okay? And what I want to see is, it seems like this girl's like an arts and crafts girl. So I want to see what type of other stuff is she ranking for? So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in Ahrefs, and we're going to then go to her organic keywords. And boom, check this out. So she has 2,800 different keywords that she's ranking for. Now what I'm gonna do is do an export and I'm gonna do it in a CVC file, CSV file, sorry. And then I just simply open this up and I'm gonna start making my keyword list. Now, this takes more time because you have to manually go through this, right? I'll get up a notepad, I'll write down candle molds, soap molds, silicone candle molds, soap making kit. 
Uh, we already had that one there. Silicone modes for candles, custom silicone molds. And each of these keywords, I'll go through the whole list and write down. Now, you don't want duplicates, obviously. You just go down and just write down a bunch of keywords that this person's ranking for. What this tells me is this person only has 300 referring domains. If we find a website that has similar authority, well, guess what? We have a very good chance for ranking for these same keywords that they're ranking for. Also, I can do this with other sites and other search terms. I can start compiling a very big list. Now, the beauty behind this is that it's a lot more powerful because these are proven keywords that low authority sites are already ranking for. So you're, you're taking the keywords from them that they've proven can be ranked for with a lower authority site. Remember, if we go back to Google, we saw that these guys only had 300 referring domains going to the site, 320, and zero going to the page that's ranking. So that's a very good sign for us if we want to rank for DIY soap making kit. And again, we can keep this process up over and over where we can get thousands of keywords that are in that kind of easier to rank category. Now, from here, what I do is I throw my keywords back into ChatGPT and I ask it to create engaging titles for me. So here's an example. All right, so here's a prompt that you can use. Please take the following keywords and create engaging article titles for each of them. The keyword should be in the article title, I meant to say. So now what I'll do is just start throwing my list in there. Now we got candle modes, salt modes. We'll just use two to make this very short, but I'll just do candle molds, um, soap molds, and then maybe we just do what? DIY soap making kit, All right? We'll just do three of them. That was our original keyword. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Now what it's gonna do is give us three titles, one for each, and then bam, we will just, okay, so it's giving us multiple. So what I'm gonna say is please just give me one title for each. And that's gonna give you your one title for each, all right? So there you are right there, all right? Now, you could also say, so if you just wanna be able to copy these, these uh, titles without the keywords in there, you could say, please list without the keyword in front. So understand that you can always tell ChatGPT exactly what you want. You talk to it like it's a person, right? I didn't want the keyword first because I wanna be able to just copy these and paste them into my AI writing tool. Also, I can say, please get rid of the quotations, right? That, because I don't want my quotations in my article title. And it's going to relist them without the quotations. Now, again, all I have to do is copy these titles and throw them back into my AI content creating tool. Now, once you throw these back into the AI content tool, you let it do its job. You let it pump out the articles. From here, I'll just keep an eye on my traffic. And as pages start to get traffic, well, then I start making the articles look better and I start monetizing them and I start converting or I start pushing that traffic towards my conversion pages. Just a side note, you can also put offers in the sidebar and I've made a good amount of sales doing that with having offers specifically in the sidebar of my site. And that's the process in a nutshell. I don't really have anything else for you today. Leave any questions or comments below. Touch up that like button, subscribe and all that other stuff I get tired of bringing up, the YouTube stuff. I'm out. Talk to you soon.